Hey everybody, it's Marshall McKee here, Viscuit with my Supergirl Season 1 Episode 10 review run I believe. Um, the reason why I'm not doing back there, as you can see on my TV, is because the lighting outside today is just craziness, and the backgrounds are like really, you can't even see the backgrounds, they're just like really white and blurry and all that junk. So that's why I'm not doing any backgrounds, but if you guys like the old setup, this one, better, then we will keep doing that one, but I just thought it would be fun to do those, so yeah. But anyway, this is going to be my Supergirl review, so no edits because I'm having a little bit of trouble with my editing stuff today, it's just not, it just chooses not to edit. I only have one video that could edit, and that was my Rufus review, but anyway, yeah, so let's get on with it. So this episode is basically win to the max. I love this episode because this episode was so good because of Jeremy Jordan and also because of Toy Man this episode. I feel like that was the big thing this episode as well. Like we didn't get too much James. We didn't get too much Cat Grant, which is, I, I really like Cat Grant. Like she's just one of my favorite characters just because she's so fun. But we didn't get all of this craziness. We didn't even get that much Supergirl actually. But, you know, we did get a lot of win, which is what I love. Like, he hasn't gotten a big storyline, and now he has this, like, you know, like, um, couple thing going on with, you know, Kara. Will they become a couple? Will they not? What will happen with that? It's kind of awkward. I don't know. We're going to talk all about that, so let's get it started. So, basically, what's going on here is that Win's father is Toy Man. We knew that from the beginning, and we also knew that he is kind of Toy Man. I think what's going on here is that Win is supposed to be Toy Man, in the comics, at least. Maybe. Or he... I don't know. Is he? I have no idea. But he's supposed to be the character Toy Man, I think. And his father is Toy Man. So they're kind of doing this, like, changed thing where I think Wynn could take on the mantle as Toy Man. You know, it's kind of one of these things where you're like, can he become Toy Man? Can he not? I think he has the potential to. I don't... Maybe. I don't know. Maybe by season two or three, he'll go into a dark place and take up his father's mantle and maybe Toy Man will be back since he's not dead. Is he? No. No, he's not dead. Supergirl caught him at the end. So, I don't know. It could be possible. I'm not saying that it's going to happen. I'm not saying it's not, but it could. You never know. So, I really liked Win this episode because Jeremy Jordan's performance, 100%. One, can I do that? Yeah. 100%. I thought that the emotion, just like everything in this episode was amazing. Um, and we got a little bit of, you know, Martian Manager stuff, and we got a little bit of, you know, everything. Maxwell Lord, especially, and Alex. Oh, that was a good scene, too. But Jeremy Jordan stole the show, and we even got Lucy Lane. So this episode was jam-packed, but at the same time, it was just executed brilliantly, which is what I love about this episode. Other episodes have been a little bit choppy, you know, and I feel like Toy Man awesome villain. I feel like it, like this episode felt like an episode of The Flash. It was that good, because, like, the one villain, and he was a menacing villain, it was just so good. It felt like Trickster. Like, it felt like a Trickster episode of The Flash. Maybe not too much like a Trickster episode, but, like, kind of, you know, just because of the toy kind of thing. Maybe, like, a more serious version of that, since because Toy Man is not really that crazy, but to an extent he's as somewhat crazy. So it's kind of fun to see that as well. So that's how good this was. But when and his father, everything got sorted out. Kara helped them, you know, get it under control. Or should I say Supergirl? Helped them get it under control. He went back to prison. And it's all good. But I feel like the thing with him being linked to his father was just such a big thing. And I really like that as well. Also, did anyone notice that rocket ship thing or whatever that said Superman on it? Those, that rocket ship ride at the one scene? Uh, that said Superman on it? That was really cool. Kind of, kind of an Easter egg, not really, but like, kind of, you know, just thrown out there. Um, but it just proves that Superman and Supergirl are becoming, you know, pop culture icons in this world that they've created. So that's why they have that Superman ride there. Um, but anyway, going on to Marshman Hunter stuff, that's the next story. I feel like that is super good. We've seen him use his powers, like, officially. Like, all of his powers. Not all of his powers, but, like, somewhat of a degree of his powers. Um, we see Jean having this, uh, tr this trouble. You know, people have been saying, oh, he's, like, an alien, and he tried the whole, uh, Martian existing thing, and it was just not that good. You know, so he, he said that, he stated that, and so, what he does is he uses his powers just for this reason with Maxwell Lord, where he turns into Maxwell Lord with using his shape-shifting, and then phases through the door and meets Bizarro Supergirl, or I guess sees her, not meets her. Um, he also uses, I think he used another power, right? Mind wipe. But instead of using it, like Marshall Manhunter does sometimes, where he just wipes a little bit of the memory, his powers go way overboard and wipes like half the guy's memory out, which is craziness. So I feel like we're going to get a little bit more teases of that later on. Like, will he learn to be better? Because I think the reason why he's so rusty and that happened is because he hasn't used his powers. He hasn't been publicly since that one time that he tried, I guess. So, you know, we haven't seen a lot of Marshman Hunter. So it's going to be exciting to see what happens with him next. 
Don't, don't, like, I seriously want Martian Manhunter to go, to go on the Flash right stinking now. Like, please, that'd be so much fun. Having Supergirl and Flash cross over. It is in the works. Um, I think the producers of Flash, Arrow, all that stuff said that they can do it, but they gotta get on it right now, planning it, or else it won't happen next year. Or not next year, sorry, next season. Um, for all the seasons to come back, for all the TV shows. So it could possibly happen, we have no idea yet, but keep on looking out on that. We also get a little bit of Alex and Maxwell Lord, which I love. I love that dinner scene. That was awesome. And then Maxwell Lord pulls a fast one and puts, like, a tiny camera on her purse. But, like, I would kind of notice that. Just to be honest, I would kind of maybe notice that, like, we're looking down on it. Wouldn't you notice that camera? I don't know. Maybe. Because it was a little bit bigger than I expected to. But, expected it to be. But it was still cool. I still see that as well. And now he knows that Kara is the sister of Alex. Ah, it's gonna get crazy. But what did you guys think? Comment down below what did you guys think of this episode. I loved it overall. It was a really great episode. Links up there to my other Supergirl videos. Links in there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, Vlog channel, Sim channel. Don't forget to follow and subscribe those. DC Week tonight, Dawn of the Justice League, Flash, and Legends stuff coming. All that stuff is coming. I'm gonna be doing a live stream on my vlog channel, so do not forget it. Uh, and other than that, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.